stop making movies, it'll break your mother's heart. I don't know what to do anymore. You do what your heart says you have to. Steven Spielberg's The Fablemans was one of the more popular movies of 2022. Today we are going over movie critic Kathy Kaiser's picks of her favorites from last year. Feels weird saying last year. Right, <laughs> right. We're doing it, we're doing it. <laughs> Kathy, thanks so much for being here with us today. Thank you for having me back in the new year. Of course, happy new year. And we just saw it, a snippet from Fablemans, and this is coming in at number five. For right. You. Top five. Of the oh, year. yeah. Steven Spielberg did a fabulous job. What else does he do, right? Telling his story, but the twist is you don't really know unless you know it's his life story. And it's, it, was, it's, was a, it was cool to see it kind of play out on screen. Right? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Michelle cool. Williams is fabulous as a, as a mother. Absolutely. I so. have yet to see it. So it's oh, on, you got it. I know. It's on my to watch oh, no. list. <laughs> and please, if you can, go see it in the yeah. theater. Nice. Okay, well, we'll definitely go do that because it is still in theaters. Just really going through the life and legacy of how Steven Spielberg became a famed movie maker. Next up, we have Empire of Light. This is coming in at number four. And you actually got to see this in L.A. I did. I got to see the screening of the actual movie in L.A. That's amazing. Yes. Part of the CCA screening. It is about a lady who runs a movie theater in England. But she's what you soon to find out is maybe a little schizophrenic. Mm -hmm. And so it's her trials and tribulations of dealing with her mental health. And there is a young man who comes to work at the theater and he helps her through that process. Oh, that is sweet. Yes. And Olivia Coleman will be up for an Academy Award nod yet again nice. for her performance in Empire of Light. Nice. Okay. I'm gonna, is this one still in theaters? Yes, it should still be there. Okay. Well, I have a. Uh... A couple You're gonna of have movies a list, to go right? see. Exactly. You should too, <laughs> St. Louis. Number three coming in for you is Blonde. Let's take a quick look. I played Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe. I can't face doing another scene with Marilyn. Everybody yes. has been talking about this. It is incredible. And the minute you start watching Anna de Armas play Marilyn Monroe. God, I'm getting choked up just thinking about it. Isn't that terrible? I love Marilyn Monroe, and she literally is mesmerizing as her. You don't even realize it's not her on screen once you get into the film. And it kind of takes you back into that era almost, and you really get to see the, the pain she experienced Oh, my gosh. The life. pain of her life all the way through is just... It, it was horrific, it really was. Mm. It was. It's terrible, but she does an incredible job and everyone needs to see this on Netflix. Well, this is number three coming in for you, so that means it's pretty high We're almost on the there, list. we're almost there, right? <laughs> and I mean, second, we love a good Tom Cruise <laughs> movie. My dad will tell you over and over again, oh, Top Gun's my favorite, Top Gun's my favorite. But he says, kind of like you, mm -hmm. they did their thing with Maverick. Oh, absolutely. It is the second one on my top 10, if you go to matineechat.com, that I say the sequel mm -hmm. is better than the original. Yeah. And that's a hard, that's that's a hard, a hard thing, thing to do. Right? That is a hard thing to oh do. Oh my gosh, Miles Teller, Tom Cruise, they all brought, John Hamm, St. Louis is John Hamm. They all brought their A game to this one. It got pushed back a little bit with COVID. It got pushed back a little bit because they redid a lot of that movie, so it was just as spectacular as you're seeing on screen. Oh my gosh, well, I, another mild confession here. Yes. I did not go see Maverick. Oh, so I have five movies to go see. <laughs> <laughs> and then coming in at number one for you. Yes. It's Babylon. You say it's a film that just leaves you mouth open. Absolutely. Saying, wow. What Thank was it about this Hollywood. movie? Well, we have to make sure everyone realizes you're going to give three hours of your life away and nine minutes to see okay. this. Okay. Damien Chazelle has gone back to the 1920s, late 20s, early 30s to bring Hollywood to life for you. The debaucherous scenes in the first 20 minutes are going to take a lot of people back. And I will tell you, too, that I'm one of the very few critics that made this number one. There was a lot of critics both in LA and New York that said no to this movie and I don't know why. Even my husband who hates going to the movies with me sat through the three <laughs> hours at the chase on New Year's Day and he said, 
my God, Kathy, that was incredible. And I agree. Said, I, it told is you, incredible, honey, I told you, honey. I told right? <laughs> Margot Robbie carries this film. Brad Pitt is absolutely incredible. And I think that everybody needs to see Babylon on the big screen. Well, I remember you coming in and talking about this movie. So right, right when I we have, first heard about right it. Right when we first heard about it. And I remember watching the trailer and I was like, oh, this oh. is going to be good. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have five movies to watch. <laughs> Will they be done next time you come back? Uh, my fingers are crossed. Stay probably, tuned. Right? I'll go to the movies this weekend. It's supposed to rain. Okay, there, there you go. go. Eat some there popcorn, go. enjoy a good movie. And you got to pick which one you're going to see. I can do that. Well, okay. St. Louis, if you're interested in keeping up with all of the things that are happening on the big screen, you absolutely can with Matinee Chat with Kathy Kaiser. You can show her some love on Facebook, Instagram, and on Twitter. She is your gal when it comes to all things movies. So thank you for being here. Thank you for having me back. You're welcome. Don't go anywhere. St. Louis will be right back after this quick commercial break. What I do means something. It's bigger than you.